live streaming. So. Right, thank you, everybody. Hello. If I could just have your attention, please. Okay, we, we are live streaming tonight, so I'm just checking at the back that I'm not early. Excellent, thank you very much. Good. Right, we will now move on to the main event of the evening, the presentation of the awards. But everyone, please do not panic. Dessert and coffee will be served as we commence the awards ceremony. Okay, we do have to keep to time tonight just so we don't all get locked in the castle. Um, so uh, dessert is coming, don't, don't worry. Um, before I hand over to our host for the rest of the evening, a little bit of housekeeping. Okay, so could all of the award presenters, winners, highly commended uh, nominees, when you're, when you're called to the stage, could you come up on your right where Debbie is standing, okay? You will then do what you need to do on stage, and then we're going to usher you off to the right. Again, your right, so my, uh, my left. Okay, so, so nice and simple. So when you hear your name, if you come to the stage, we will look after you from there. At the end of the awards, what we'd like to do is gather together all the highly commended and all the award winners next door in the long gallery for some photographs. So you're not allowed to go home until you've had your photograph taken. Okay, um, so if you could remember that, that would be fantastic. Right. Uh, it now gives me great pleasure to welcome Michael McDonough to the stage, and Michael is going to be your host for the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you very much, Neil. For the nerves of everyone, the live streaming is solely on the stage, so you can get what of whatever you want to down there. I don't think it, it's, it's not roaming around the tables. Um, I said I'd praise um, Neil for a British sense of punctuality that us Irish can only look on in awe. Uh, um, but there is a choreography here to be observed and, and which we respect, but delighted uh, to be able to host you. And thank you, Minister, for, for your presence here this evening at an extremely busy time of year for you. Um, so straight to the awards. Our, our first award of the evening and I apologize in advance, by the way, for all the stage direction mistakes that I will make, just as well as not being live streamed. Our first award of the evening is the Archaeological Innovation Award, which is sponsored by Queen's University Belfast. And I'd like to invite Eileen Murphy from Queen's to present the award. The shortlisted candidates for this award are automat automated site discovery using deep learning, the wished ished virtual archaeology project, crafting the past shared histories, and the Seaford Head project. Over to you, Ali. Okay, well, I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Archaeological Innovation Award is the US Virtual <laughs> Sorry, sorry, if I may bring the winners back just for a second. Sorry, if I could bring the winners back just for a second. They're, they're brimming with their award excellence. And do remember I apologize for failing in my stage direction adherence. Um, many congratulations on the award. And, and a job I have is to ask um, um, all winners this evening a, a certain question of you um, in congratulating you and um, we'll ask, what perhaps might you see as the greatest challenge that you faced in your project? And I'm going to give you the mic. And you're on the spot now. On the spot? Which challenge? Um, or or ignore the question and say a few words. Can we just say a few words ourselves? Oh, but on, and on mute. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, that's really loud. Um, not quite what I expected. Uh, we're, we're a little bit confused because we've actually just rushed back from the toilet. So, um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm just going to say that it's just absolutely astounding to be given this award 
to, to innovation, um, coming up with an idea was really great, but actually we wouldn't be able to do that without two really important ingredients, and one is a fabulous team, and Morag and Jess are sitting over there, and Jess and her team at Peel X, just fab. Um, um, but actually, I've also just found a way to loop it back into your question. One of the biggest challenges is to get people to believe in an idea when it's just an idea, and there were loads of people who gave us backing right at the beginning, and that made the difference. Uh, yeah, just to thank all of our funders, uh, Natural Cultural Heritage Fund, uh, National Lottery Heritage Fund, and our local council at the Stores Ouge and the Highlands and Islands Enterprise. So thank you very much. Uh, they all believed us right from the start, so thank you very much. Congratulations again. haven't been fired yet by Neil. Um, the, the, um, congratulations again to UIST. Um, we're on to the individual award, the second one, which is engagement and participation. Our second award of the evening um, is sponsored by University Archaeology UK. And I would like to uh, invite, if I may, Minister Noonan back onto the stage to present the award on behalf of UA UK. Um, the shortlisted candidates are... Do we have that up? Claire? The shortlisted candidates are Crafting the Past Shared Histories, E-Heritage Make a Splash, Lost in Verleel, a log Balyevlar, Bristol's Brilliant Archaeology Program 2021 to 2022, or BBAP, and Wessex Hill Forts and Habitats. Um, over to Minister Noonan, if I may. Thanks, Michael. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, one highly commended, and it's the. Um, in the Engagement and Participation Award, and it's the Y Heritage Make a Splash Programme 2021 Congratulations again. Congratulations. And the winner is delayed moment of silence. And the winner is in the Engagement and Participation Award, Bristol's Brilliant Archaeology Programme 2021 2022. Congratulations. Um, unfortunately, our winners cannot be with us tonight, so I'd like to ask Catherine Baxter, who's already making her way to the stage, one of the judges who represents the Society of Museum Archaeology, to accept the award on their behalf. We also have this, if you'd stay there, Catherine, please. Um, 
we also have this message from our winners. Your brilliant Bristol Archaeology Programme has been nominated in the Engagement and Participation Award category, which is sponsored by University Archaeology UK. Kate and Gail, I'm actually here to be able to tell you that we're delighted to say that you are the actual winners of this award. Congratulations. That's amazing. Thank you very much. That is, oh, I'm honestly overwhelmed. Just that is so overwhelming, Neil. Um, I've got to say that a lot of this programme is down to Kate. She works extra hours in order to be able to do this. So I really want to say, you know, Bristol's brilliant. It is without Kate and all the other people that we work with because there's only two of us on screen here, but it's literally down to hundreds of people and the people that come to it. So thank you. I'm honestly, kind of like, that is amazing. That's totally thank you. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Catherine, I understand you know the winners well. And so the question, what do you think this means for them? I feel a bit cheeky standing up here, considering I'm not the winner. But um, you can see from the video, can't you? I mean, Gail and Kate up there, I've known them for a long time as colleagues and as friends. And they are so passionate and they work so hard. This will absolutely mean the world to them. I'm really thrilled for them. Well deserved. Thank you, Catherine, and thank you, Minister. Our third um, award of the evening is for learning, training and skills sponsored by Archaeological Management Solutions AMS and I'd like to invite Karina Koldrick to present the award. The short listed candidates are Oasis V Rollout Support Workshops the UCD Centre for Experimental Archaeology and Material Culture, or CEAMC, uh, and Wessex Hillforts and Habitats. Karina. I feel like I'm at the Oscars. <laughs> oh, and the winner is, for the Learning, Training and Skills Award, the UCD Centre for Experimental Archaeology and Material Culture. Not that I'm biased, but it's lovely to have an Irish. <laughs> no hand up part, but just a little bit proud of my old alma mater and I wish congratulations to you Aidan and I'm ready thanks Aiden. I know you suffered your own challenges there over the last few years but just hand over to you for for what this means to UCD and overcoming those challenges well I just have to take this opportunity because I've waited to do this my whole life to Anna Ahas Oren and Corin Shaw Adlocka our son Furin an unid shandaliacht turgnavi agus kultur overta. 
um, as any, those of you who are Irish know, that's the traditional uh, victory speech of a hurling or a camogie captain in Croke Park on All Ireland final day. Um, we're, we're delighted. Uh, it, me it means we're delighted to accept uh, the award uh, on behalf of the UCD Centre for Experimental Archaeology and Material Culture. And, and also to recognise the incredible creativity, originality, dedication and hard work of 10 years of undergraduate students, master's students, PhD scholars, postdoctoral fellows and staff and everybody else beside. And I'm going to hand over to Brendan now uh, to make some thanks. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I won't give some long Irish quote, but what I will say is uh, uh, thank you to all the support that we received within the university from our school, various heads of school, Gabriel Cooney, Graham Warren and Joanna Brooke, and as well from UCD uh, uh, Estates, Circ Office, all the different things. To do run this inside of a university is very, compli very complicated, logistically very tricky, and we need all of these partners. Thank you very much. Very well done to UCD. Um, we go straight on with our fourth award of the evening, and it's for public dissemination or presentation, and it is sponsored by Past Preservers, and I'd like to invite Natasha Bilson to present the award. The shortlisted candidates are Sisbury Goes Digital, the world of Stonehenge, the Uist Virtual Archaeology Project, Scotland Digs 2022, and finally, transforming the Roman townhouse for wider audiences to enjoy. Over to you, Natasha. Wow, what an amazing evening. I am delighted to announce that we have two highly commended nominations in this category. I've always wanted to do this, I'm very excited. Okay. Right, the first highly commended nominee is Transforming the Roman Townhouse for Wider Audiences to Enjoy. Highly commended nominee is Scotland Diggs 2022. <laughs> Honestly, what an amazing category and so many amazing projects. But the winner, which everyone's here for, so the winner of the Public Dissemination or Presentation Award goes to the US Virtual Archaeology Project. <laughs> I'm not going to keep the ladies too long on the stage. Thank you so much, Natasha. Um, we asked you already what the greatest challenge was. Um, the, the next question would be, what did you enjoy most about this project? Uh, uh, apart from this evening, obviously, which has been the best bit ever, uh, it's just been a total joy from beginning to end, working with great people, um, working with our fantastic community in US, and all the support we've had. Yeah, it's just been fab. Thank you. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just fantastic to work with such a great bunch.
bunch of people and a great team, some of which are there, but lots of people who aren't here as well. So thank you so much. This is a bit, yeah, a bit overwhelming, a bit ridiculous. Thank you so much. Our fifth award of the evening is the Early Career Archaeologist Award. It is sponsored by the Royal Archaeological Institute, and I'd like to invite the chair of the judging panel, Jeanette plummer Cires, to present the award on behalf of the RAI. The, the shortlisted candidates are Fernanda Acosta Ballesteros, Jennifer McCarthy, Matthew Mark Bambara, Megan Schlanke, Tabitha Gulliver Lawrence, and Victoria Sands. I am delighted to announce that we have a highly commended nomination in this category, and it is Megan Schlanker. the winner of the Early Career Archaeologist Award is Victoria Sands. I have a question for Victoria. Um, it's the question all archaeologists get asked at some point, which is, what brought you into archaeology? Hello. This is actually quite a funny answer compared to what happened to today. Um, before I went to university, I actually came to Dublin and viewed the Bog Body exhibition at the museum. Um, so actually, you could kind of say it was Dublin that got me into archaeology, because without it, I would have done history. <laughs> And that's actually not made up at all. Congratulations, Victoria. Wish you and, and Megan and all um, commended early career archaeologists the very best in your careers. Um, before our final award of the evening, um, I'd like to invite Jeanette, the chair of the judges, to say a few words on behalf of the work of the panel of the judges. Jeanette. Thank you, everyone. Um, the Archaeological Achievement Awards give us the perfect opportunity every year to peek our heads above our, ab ab above our trenches or our computer screens and take in the brilliance of all the magnificent work taking place across our sector in community groups, commercial units, universities, and heritage organizations. It's not only a moment for celebration, but also a time to be utterly inspired by one another, by the drive of our early career our colleagues, by the ingenuity of innovation propelling archaeology into the future, by the skill required to train the new generations of archaeologists, and by the commitment involved in reaching wider audiences through public dissemination and engagement. It's a thrilling reminder that we have so much to learn from one another and that there are so many stories yet to be told. 
Bringing people together and telling stories is something humans have always done, and it's exciting to find new ways of continuing and celebrating that tradition through archaeology. Our sector is facing many challenges, and there's still much work required to begin making this field truly inclusive and diverse. But all the award nominees tonight and their, and their respective projects are proof that the value that archaeology provides for our communities is wide and undeniable. Archaeology, when done collaboratively, meaningfully, and with self-reflection, has the power to improve the mental and physical well-being of its participants. It can be an avenue for welcoming newcomers to a community and promoting social cohesion. And it can strengthen connections to a shared landscape, thus creating a common cause for its protection and sustainability. Archaeology has the potential to be a powerful leader in addressing many of the issues facing our society today. As such, it is encouraging to see all the creative new frameworks of collaboration that have been developed by our nominees aimed at welcoming new voices into the field. As practitioners of archaeology in its various forms, it's been an honor and an eye-opening experience to be involved in judging the nominations. It, it has taken a huge amount of work, but it was made possible by a superb team of judges who have generously gifted their time, knowledge, and collegiality to the impossibly difficult task of identifying winners among such high-quality nominations. It's been a deeply rewarding experience to be involved once again in celebrating the awards. We give our congratulations to all the winners and nominees and hope that you continue to enjoy this well-deserved celebration. Thank you. Thank you, Jeanette, and to all the judges for what um, um, has clearly, as Minister Noonan said at the start, must have been a, a really difficult job in, a, in, in, in determining winners among such excellence. Um, we come to our final award of the, out, of the evening, which is the Outstanding Archaeological Achievement Award. And I'd like to invite Minister Noonan, um, please, back to an both announce and present the award on behalf of AOC Archaeology, who can't be here this evening, um, they are the sponsors of the award. Um, the short-listed candidates of are the the short-listed candidates. I almost inadvertently said something that I shouldn't. The the short-listed candidates are the Uist Virtual Archaeology Project. Bristol's Brilliant Archaeology Program 2021 to 2022, uh, UCD Center for Experimental Archaeology and Material Culture, and Victoria Sands. Um, I invite Minister Noonan to announce the highly commended nominee. So we do have a highly commended uh, nominee for the Outstanding Archaeological Achievement Award, and the award goes to Bristol's Brilliant Archaeology Programme 2021-2022. The, the judges were very impressed by the level of engagement and inclusion offered by the Bristol Project. It has enormous potential for upscaling and could easily be replicated in other places. Overall, the project, according to the judges, demonstrated what can be achieved on a small budget with commitment, innovation, and enthusiasm. Congratulations to Bristol. We have a, a short film, I understand. Kate and Gail, I'm also really delighted to say that in the Outstanding Archaeological Achievement Award, the judges thought your project was so good, they'd like to award you the highly commended award. Uh, <laughs> A lovely
absolutely brilliant evening for Bristol's archaeology there. That's brilliant. Absolutely. That is honestly so even more overwhelming. Uh, it's really, really highly commended. Honestly, the, the, the judges thought what you did on the budget you had was absolutely fantastic. They really liked your project. And again, I think it's a, just a testament of the quality of the projects that were submitted. That, you know, they really wanted to mark out what you did, you know, a, not just as an individual award, but against everyone else who'd actually uh, put in their nominations. So really a heartfelt congratulations. Well done. Absolutely Thank fantastic. You so much. That and is I, that honestly, it's made our day. <laughs> good. I would really hope you go away and have a really good drink and a celebration because um, it's richly deserved. Thank you very much. Thank you, Neil. I know. Um, I know for the um, for the best kept secret award, <laughs> the winner of the outstanding achievement award. I wonder who it could be um, the USIT Virtual Archaeology Archaeology Project. Okay, thank you. In the words of the judges, um, the US Virtual Archaeology Project, the judging panel felt was an outstanding illustration of innovation, interpretation, and engagement. It has brought difficult to reach archaeology into the open using interactive media and storytelling via a new app. It is the opinion of the judges that quite simply, the project has a wow factor worthy of being judged the winners of the 2022 Outstanding Archaeological Achievement Award. We have some new um, um, members of the US Virtual Archaeology Project who we can ask questions of now. And I suppose the question, first off, congratulations from us all on behalf of the Minister and ourselves here. Um, one question would be, what next, or are you just going to take it easy for a few nights and tonight especially? Well, I think tonight's about celebrating. Thank you so much. We've had the best night ever, haven't we? Um, and I think, I've always said I work for the company that supported technologically and digitally, um, and I've I enjoyed working with the team here. They've been phenomenally inspirational. They've had a clear vision. And that's been amazing. And, and I think that we've just scratched the surface of the potential of um, digital storytelling in archaeology, and we're excited to see what comes next. Well, our, our congratulations to you all. Did anyone else have another few words to mention, or are we all good? Please. Honestly, yeah, thank you so much. This is just, we saw this as a proof of concept project, and I think it's far exceeded all our expectations, and, I, and everyone else, it's just been brilliant. And just, yeah, we're from a, a relatively small place that's often seen as remote, maybe slightly less connected with other places, but I just think it goes to show that we're incredibly well connected and brilliant innovations can come from small places. So we're really proud to accept this on behalf of everyone who's ever participated in the project from US and beyond. So thank you so much. Our congratulations again to Ewis and thank you, Minister. Um, as the Minister said is in his opening address, uh, these projects serve as inspiration for us all, uh, where we can be inspired by them no matter in which jurisdiction we are in. And, and I'm, I'm sure that this evening's um, projects will do that. Um, I'm going to invite Neil back to the microphone just to say a few words. Um, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Minister. Um, on behalf of the Council of British Archaeology, I would just like to make two more thank yous, if that's all right. First of all, for all of you for coming and getting here. Um, my day started at 6 a.m. with two members of my team informing us by the WhatsApp uh, messaging group we have that their plane had been cancelled. Um, yeah, minor panic. 
um, as I was the only one in Dublin and I saw myself doing this all by myself, but all of my team got here and I'll talk more about them in a moment. But I'd particularly just like to say well done to, to Rachel and Kellen for getting a bus from Leeds, at train, at Leeds Airport to Leeds City Centre and then getting a train from Leeds City Centre to Manchester Airport and then getting here, and they are both here. So well done, both of you. But yes, I really would like to thank you all for, for coming, for supporting the awards, for just doing some of the most incredible projects. Um, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors. Um, you'll see we've produced a booklet for the awards um, for this evening, and all our sponsors are set out in there. They've been truly helpful in actually making this happen. As I mentioned, Michael has been fantastic. I'd like to thank the minister for, for giving his time to actually come tonight. It's a real honour, and to be in this building is just gives me goosebumps. Um, but my final real thanks is to the team at the CBA. Um, our team is terribly small. There are only 11 of us. That, that only actually is seven full-time members of staff. And this year, they've gone again above and beyond. If you know the CBA, we've not had a terribly good track record with award ceremonies. Uh, we've had hurricanes, we've had concrete bunkers stopping all our live stream. Um, so this is actually our first in-person award ceremony. Um, we've all been a little nervous, um, but the team has been absolutely fantastic. And I am actually going to embarrass them all and ask them to stand up. Yeah. So there's one there. Oh, there's two over there, another one over there. There's Claire at the very back. As the director, they make my job easy, and I'm internally grateful to all of them. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Neil. Uh, I mean, it, it is, it has been our real um, delight and honour to host you all here this evening to celebrate the very best of archaeology. I have to shout out uh, two of my own colleagues who, who, as luck happened, after all their work, they worked with Claire and Neil and myself over the last five months, were not able to join us tonight. Who is Laura and um, Laura and Linda, um, and who else am I thinking of, Neil? And, and most importantly, Ashlyn, uh, um, um, who were not able to be here this evening. Um, it was one of those projects working with Neil and Claire that we sometimes looked at each other on Zoom and went, everything's in hand, isn't it? Um, surprised that there were no, nothing going wrong. It, it was a remarkable level of commitment by, by Neil and by Claire and the team in CBA that we were really delighted to be able to support. Uh, um, I can't think of anything that went wrong ever. And so um, we would look forward uh, on the rotation basis of welcoming you back to Dublin at some point in the future. Uh, but I gather we're in England uh, next year. I don't know how the football went this evening. I don't know who's following that or, or, or who's interested. I genuinely don't know to, to uh, um, so, but whatever, whoever, good luck. Um, um, it's been an important evening for archeology span on behalf of, our team in the National Monument Service, it's a pleasure to have you here and wonderful to see colleagues even among our own and our museum colleagues and Office of Public Works Hall mingling and getting together. It's been a really, really tough few years for us all everywhere and, and we sometimes became so inured to that and so used to it that we forget how really challenging mentally, emotionally and, and operationally these last few years have been, um, but we're through it and, and such a delight to be able to clink glasses and. And, and mingle. And again, our thanks to our Office of Public Works colleagues, to Christian here in, and his team, and Stephen at the back um, for all their amazing assistance, as always. To Maeve in Brambles um, and her team, they are the caterers who served you and are serving you this evening. Um, a big round of applause to them, too. And to our team in Creative Technologies, the OPW team, who, who've been working so hard there out the back, just silently videoing you all as you, as you and putting you online for posterity. Thank you as well um, for doing that whole streaming thing online. 
which is the end. Uh, um, um, and to John Lawler, our own photographer, our National Monument Service senior photographer, more used to taking photos of old things as opposed to, <laughs> as opposed to glamorous things. Uh, but but he, he does that job extremely well. So it ends really to, again, for me, on behalf of us all here in Ireland and the minister, to thank Neil and the Council of British Archaeology for such a wonderful award ceremony. But as Neil said, thanks to you all and all those who were involved in the project, um, in applications and nominations, and for just being yourselves and doing what you do, um, and for making this evening such a wonderful success and celebrating achievement in archaeology in that such broad church that it is. Um, we wish you all a lovely evening, um, and we wish you all a wonderful time the rest of the time you're here in Dublin, and we wish you a very safe home. Good night. <laughs>